Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing well. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hi, so in this video, we are going to download Auto Hotkey and show you some sample demo. So you can search for autohotkey.com, this site, and then you'll have this option download the ultimate automation scripting language for Windows. So you can download this current version or download beta. Now, I think you should download this current version first and later on if you want, then you can download this version to beta. So, download this current version. It will take a second, I guess. So, this is 3.1 megabyte file. So, once it download, I already have downloaded and installed. So, that's uh, it's at the one. So, once you have downloaded it, so you can just double click on it and it will install this auto hotkeys so this is that setup file you can double click on it and allow I think it will just take less than a minute so you can choose no I already have installed so it's saying repair or modify or uninstall you can say repair so once it's installation complete you can just you know find this one that run auto hotkeys or view the tutorial or view changes in new feature so you can just click on it like view tutorials and it will bring this one okay auto hotkey begin a tutorial by tidbit anyway here is a basic tutorial and now i'm going to show you some use cases for this one so for that what do you need to do you need to create a file so right click on your any folder and then you'll have this auto hotkey script sample hk you can open it in a notepad or you can open it on visual studio code if you have that and this is that sample now you can install one visual studio extension that is auto hotkey plus plus so like this one auto hotkey plus plus so it will help to run auto hotkey within this visual studio and it also has intellisense function symbol and so on so that's good now in this one you can just show you some sample demo these are saying that hot string so i can specify that okay if i type test ts then just write this is a test message so basically it's saying that if i type ts then just and press enter or space then it will replace that ts with this message let me show you i can run this go a little down ts and space now you can see this is a test message again i can type ts space yes and space now what's the use cases for this one in our excel tutorial so that is this one so let's say we are f okay, let's say. and i specify that it will be public function private peer that means private function let's say this and let's say let's say enter okay so what it will do now i can read on this so when i will type prf then space it will write this private function and then enter for me and what's the use case for excel is that let me open an excel file so you can just create a workbook and once we have this run like auto key debugger is running so now in my module i can just say okay prf enter and this is a private function let me write it again prf enter it's a private function and it's not pressing the enter of this one so this is wrong i can just say okay private function let's say function name is no a fixed name by default it will be a fixed name and what we can do we can put our cursor back to this fx name position so that you can type it out but let's see now if i say prf and enter so now you can see this private function fx name so basically it's writing this function signature for us or can use some other cases like on your regime next right 
so what you can do one error resume next so I'll take this one error resume next so once we have in this one now we can see that okay let's say I need a one error resume next inside of this so one error resume next now you can see that it's typing out all of this for me so it will save us a lot of time right or let's say sometimes we need to raise error so error dot raise here dot number here dot source here dot description dot help file and ar dot context right so we can just copy this and put this in the sample as ahk that is it will be retro or something like that so let me run it again so it's running now so instead of typing this out every time what you can do we can just say retro and you can see that it's running this script and it's giving us this line so let me stop hk so i can say read through and type yeah so it will type all of those in this line right so this is how it will be useful and there are some other use cases i uh, will see next one by one so this is all for this tutorial thanks for watching if you have any question feel free to comment and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you